I'd like to show you the new computer I built. This is a small form factor Core i5 Windows 7 computer that, as you can see, resembles the Altair 8800, the classic computer from 1975. If you'd like the technical details of how I made the Mini Altair and what's inside it, they're on my website at galacticstudios.org slash Altair. The Altair 8800 was, depending on your definition, the world's first personal computer. For a few hundred dollars you could buy a kit that you would assemble yourself. Later they were available pre-assembled for you. You could program it in BASIC, run games, and eventually word processors and business software. This computer is much smaller than the original Altair 8800. It's 11 inches by 11 inches by 4 and 3 quarters inches. The original Altair was 17 inches by 18 inches by 7 inches. The construction of the case is also somewhat different. My Mini Altair is not a scale replica of the original, but it's pretty close. You turn the Mini Altair on by pressing the rightmost auxiliary switch. The other auxiliary switch is the reset switch. I didn't use the on-off switch for two reasons. First, today's computers are turned on by momentary contact switches. The auxiliary switch is momentary contact, the on-off is not. Second, I wanted to use the on-off switch for other things. The operating system and program files are installed on a solid state drive, so boot up is fast and applications start up instantaneously. The front panel can be in two different modes. With the on-off switch on, the lights flicker. It's random, but within limits that are meant to approximate a running Altair 8800. If you flip the on-off switch to off, all the lights go out except for this one, which indicates power, and this one, which indicates disk drive access. Underneath the Mini Altair, I have an external DVD burner and front ports for USB, audio, and firewire. The PC can read the switches on the front panel and control the lights. I wrote this Altair panel control program that runs in the background on Windows. It lets you configure an application to be run when a switch is flipped. For example, I've told it to run Adobe Photoshop when I flip A0. When I flip the switch, Photoshop starts up. There's also a program, Altair 32, that emulates the original Altair 8800. I didn't write this. It was written by Richard Sinney based on code by Klaus Geloy. This program can run all the programs that the original Altair 8800 ran, and it's linked to the front panel. When I flip switches on the front panel, the emulator sees it, and the emulator tells the front panel which lights to turn on. Again, for more information, please visit galacticstudios.org. I hope you enjoyed this brief demo. Thank you for watching.